Weather alert day today, and Katie, you're fine-tuning our best chances for severe weather. Yes, and, and the good news is that the area of severe weather and the amount of severe weather is decreasing. It's not gone, but it's decreasing. It's still something that we'll be watching for later this evening. Right now, we're watching the flooding concerns as we have seen too much water uh, add up after all this rain this morning. This is just an estimate based on Doppler keeping track of the rain rate as it was coming down, but it estimates Parkville has seen three inches, Gladstone over four inches of rain, uh, down by Peculiar over four and a half inches, even parts of of Miami County near Paola Doppler estimated over five inches of rain and the rain of course is still coming down so we'll get more and more flooding concerns until the rain waters completely subside and that may not happen uh, tonight nor during the day tomorrow it may not happen until uh, maybe Thursday before we get some dry weather but right now you're seeing a variety of different types of flood watches and warnings the bottom line is there's a lot of street flooding, basement flooding, fields are flooded, uh, the roads where they dip are collecting water, so you've got a large ponding happening right now on some of the roadways, and we've got streams and creeks rising, which will eventually cause rivers to rise. So almost every type of flooding possible is happening right now around the Kansas City area with the exception of flash flooding. We don't have any flash flood warnings at this moment, but we still have a lot of rain coming down, almost covering completely Lafayette County and northern sections of Johnson County on the Missouri side, still slicing through Harrisonville down towards Paola. And that's where we pick it up with future scan. Watch as this goes away and we get several hours of dry weather, which is great, but then we're going to see a return of thunderstorms later today. And I would say start getting ready for these after 5 p.m., but it looks Looks like the risk of severe weather may hold off until 7 p.m. So a window between 7 and 9 might be the best timing for when we might see the strongest thunderstorms. Not every thunderstorm will produce severe weather during that time frame, but those that do make primary threat would be wind, secondary threat would be hail, and then a very, very low threat of a tornado. Just can't let our guards down. We'll be watching with all of our tools to see if any of the storms show signs of rotation. It's an alert day today because of the flooding and that severe weather. Tomorrow's an impact day, and the difference between the two is tomorrow we don't anticipate having severe storms, so we don't anticipate watches or warnings being issued. However, flooding is a major concern. Flooding kills more people than tornadoes, so we want to make sure that we take that flooding risk seriously tomorrow as more rain will just aggravate the flooding that's happening now. There's our dry weather Thursday and Friday, and then Saturday, we bring in another chance of rain, especially Saturday night. Sunday through Tuesday, we have at least a chance of rain. Temperatures should be pretty close to normal, upper 70s and lower 80s.